for the invitation to talk about the hydrophobic Edo family of Teleon. My name is Florian Kretz and it's a real pleasure being here. Here are my financial disclosures. I'm a consultant for Teleon. I think the absolute trend in 2021 is to talk about hydrophobic EDOF lenses. And EDOF is a very like, l large name. And the nomenclature is actually still a little bit insecure. But the first attempts have been done to really see what a lens is and how a lens can perform. So if you take a, like, a slight overview over lenses, you can see here what they, the performance of them is. We have the Aconex Vario Max, who is like a true rotational asymmetric lens with plus as reader optus near it. But my favorite is the Aconex Vario, which is an EDOF lens, also rotational asymmetric with a plus 1.5 ad power, giving you a great performance for distance and intermediate. And because it's aberration neutral, we have a really nice performance and transition from far to intermediate range without any dysphotopsias. For everybody that's not that familiar with rotational asymmetry, it basically means you have two optics in one. So one part of the optics has the add power, has a higher power, and the other one has the normal power for far. You can work a little bit with your uh, target refraction. You can target them slightly myopic, so you come from an intermediate range down to near. Uh, you can also go slightly hyperopic quarter diopter if you really have patients that want far, far out vision. But it's a very good uh, or practical approach to work with the patients and with their vision and especially with their range of vision. And if we compare a little bit those lenses to other monofocal plus lenses like the ICBU or true EDOFs like the Vivity, you will really be surprised of the good performance. I think the main key is that the Aconex is like the second generation of the MF15 Comfort. The MF15 Comfort is a hydrophilic model with a plate haptic design, while the Aconex is a C-loop hydrophobic with a blue light filter. But if we go back to those monofocal plus, you can see here the ICVU effective add power of roughly one diopter in the center if the cornea is suitable for the lens. And if you look at the performance a little bit, you can see basically good uh, distance vision, a slight defocus of around half a diopter plus and minus giving you a little bit of intermediate. But if you look at the uh, comfort data and that data is absolutely conformed to our own data you can really see that this plus 1.5 ad power in an aberration neutral aspheric optic really gives you a long range of vision from distance to intermediate so you can truly promise your patients in 60 70 centimeters they will have adequate intermediate vision a little bit newer model on the EDOF market is the Vivity, and the Vivity has like a center that is slightly anteriorly and also works a little bit with apparition, and you can see the seri, but you can also see in the best case analyzer, it's a best case analyzer, so it's not a wide overview of all lenses. And if you compare the data also to the Comfort data, which is the older plus 1.5 ad power model, you can really see that the Comfort performance is actually better. That's why for us, the Comfort and the Aconex Vario are standard lenses in EDOF care and the standard models that we use for our private patients. But enough about the comparison. I think like a big issue with all lenses for presbyopia correction is the dysphotopsia problem. And you can see here our dysphotopsia results comparing the Comfort plus 1.5 ad power rotational asymmetric lens to an aberration neutral monofocal. And actually, if you look at those values, you really see, oh, there's not that big difference between a monofocal and uh, the, um, this EDOF lens. And if you compare it to uh, the patients, especially preoperatively, here are the results with the MF15 Comfort, with most patients in the non-range. Actually, before the surgery, they had far more dysphotopsia than after. And compared to the monofocal group, which is data that we have published already, it really shows there is no significant difference between rotational asymmetric EDOF and a monofocal lens. And you can see here the monocular and binocular results, but you can truly see you have a good distance vision also slightly in the plus area, but you have this elongated focus down to intermediate in a range of roughly around 60, 70 centimeters with the comfort. Today I'm speaking about the Aconex, so how do we translate it on our Aconex results? And we're using the Aconex for more than a year now. It's a standard of care for all our private patients. And um, if you look at the results here, they're pretty much equal there's no real difference. We have the same performance for distance and intermediate vision in those patients if we target binocular amyotropia. You can elongate the focus with a slightly micro monovision approach like with all EDOF lenses, but the main key is also in the evaluation of dysphotopsia. Those patients don't have more dysphotopsia than a monofocal lens 
patients. And you can see that on the really low values, even in questionnaires, how satisfied the patients are with their vision and with their visual phenomena. If we look at contrast visual acuity, this lens even has a blue light filter or a slightly less light available. Still, the results are absolutely adequate and comparable to um, the comfort. So it really is a surgeon's choice. Do you want to work hydrophilic? Do you want to work hydrophobic? Do you prefer a plate? Do you prefer a silly loop? So you can really choose freely what you feel more comfortable because the result for your patient will be definitely the same. So I think in conclusion, those optics are the same optic. It gives you a certain choice what you feel more comfortable with, what maybe your patient feels more comfortable with. Maybe there's other procedures like a vitrectomy, a DMAC that is planned with the patient. We stopped having any exclusion parameters for those lenses. So if a patient has a macular degeneration, has a macular edema, has a glaucoma, we implant those EDOF lenses anyways because we did not see any disadvantage compared to a monofocal. And even a patient with a macular degeneration can benefit from that either effect in this rotational asymmetric lens. So thank you very much for your kind attention.